I am now joined by Lindsey Schnell, Oregon State beat writer for the Oregonian. Lindsey, it's the Beavers' bye week. They're four and one, responding with four straight wins to a season opening loss to FCS Eastern Washington. Two years ago, the Beavers lost their season opener to an FCS team, and the season was a disaster. What about this team is different from that team two years ago that has let them respond to that season opening upset loss differently? I think they have better leadership. You know, a few years ago they were embroiled in this quarterback controversy when Sean Mannion replaced Ryan Katz. Now it's very clear who the leaders are, and after going through that, they decided we're not doing that again. There's going to be none of this three and nine business. And then I think they're more experienced. You know, a few years ago they had to play a lot of freshmen. Those guys are all juniors now. They've been through it. They have a better idea of how to win in the Pac-12. One of those freshmen that played in that season, Sean Mannion, he replaced Ryan Katz at halftime of that Sacramento State game. Before the season, you named Sean Mannion your top rising star on this team. Before it was even known that he was going to start, he was still in the quarterback battle with Cody Vaz. What made you so confident that Mannion was ready to have the type of impact that we've seen him have five games into this season? A little bit of a gamble on my part, right? But I think with Sean, the bottom line is that when he's healthy, he's very, very good. Besides his knee injury last year, torn meniscus, had to have surgery, he separated his shoulder the second game of the season at UCLA. Most people don't know that. And he's still managed to throw two touchdowns in that game. So I figured that coming into this year, if he were healthy, which I knew he was, he had such a high ceiling, and it turns out that I'm right. Now, it would help if they could run the ball a little bit better. They are getting some runs going with screens and fly sweeps, but Sean has been spectacular. His completion percentage is so much better. He's thrown the ball away when he needs to. He's finding Brandon Cooks. It helps to throw to an All-American receiving candidate. but. I just believe that if he were healthy and if he were named the starter before the first game to give him some time to build confidence, he could do some good things. And it turns out he's doing some great things. The Beavers have had two weeks to prepare for their next game, Washington State, on Saturday night at 7.30 in Pullman. The Beaver defense has looked vulnerable often this season, and now they have to face Mike Leach's air raid attack. Are you confident that this Beaver defense is ready to stop Washington State's offense? I'm not confident that they can stop Washington State, but I'm less confident that Washington State can stop Oregon State. I think it's going to be a high-scoring affair, lots of passing yards between the two teams, and when in doubt, go with the better quarterback-receiver duo, which is Mannion to Cooks. Now, that being said, the secondary has gotten considerably better since the beginning of the season against Eastern Washington, particularly the play of junior college transfer Steven Nelson, a cornerback who's filled in for Poyer, he's been clutch. Big time interceptions. Why not? Why wouldn't he be able to do that again with even more opportunities, right? Washington State doesn't run the ball much. But it's going to be, I think there are going to be a lot of points put on the board, and it could be interesting. This is a test for the secondary. The secondary says they've gotten a lot better. This is going to be a prime time to prove it. Beavers played the Cougars under the lights 7.30 on Saturday in Pullman. Lindsey Schnell, Oregon State beat writer for the Oregonian. Thanks for joining us on Sunday Sports Extra. Thanks for having me on, Jake.